Anyhow, Grand Finals, so exciting. My first time commentating Grand Finals for anything is ever. We're gonna have Jonathan Numbers, HO3K, Jonathan Numbers versus Deadly Alliances, Vanya. And right off the bat, Vanya is just getting so many platform combo extenders. And I love the fact that he chose to up through the Shadow Sneak right there. But Numbers bringing it right back with a soccer ball into the up B. That was a really, really, really great. Uh, choice of options. I think both of these players are both going at it. Both of them really, really want it. Both of them really, really want to take home the prize of first place. But right now, Numbers has a significant mile to climb. He is, of course, a loser's meaning that he has to first make a bracket reset before he even has a chance at beating Venia. And this music is so unbelievably hype. And Venia calling out the landing with the up smash. Super, super good. Getting it right in the middle, too. Making sure that it was a sweet spot so that he can't fall out of it. All right, I'm back. Uh, All right, where did John Stock go? I see. Gone. OK. Actually, I'll check out the replay if nothing happens too quickly. Oh, uh, he just fell into the tipper up, up smash. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, John. Well, right now, like. he's just getting like those uppers and uppers, building up so much percent Ooh. super, super quickly. So this time, Venia kind of extending a little bit too far, trying to make stuff happen off stage. A little bit too ham, uh, end up getting spike orb. But honestly, like building an 80% lead while on your first stock is a pretty solid lead in general. And when you have such a movement-based character with such a movement-based player, you're like, all right, um, that that's that can mean quite a lot, especially with like the passive nature of how John plays. I love the fact that right now Venya is slowing it down. Yeah. You see him with like those walks because he's able to shield things. He's able to parry things. He's just able to put himself in a position where he is able to react to things. So it's not Ooh. all about that. First of all, that was an amazing conversion. But it's not like always all about reacting okay. to something. Okay. Whoa. That was like a four hit combo right there. Uh, unfortunately, John didn't get the right read on the recovery. And then when he grabbed the ledge, uh, because he didn't read it, Venia made it up back on stage, and then he was able to read his role and take the stock for it. That was a lot that happened. Okay. And, right, and right now, Venia's offstage is going to be a little bit tough for him to get back against numbers, but the landing neutral air force numbers to retreat just a little bit. And right now, this is not Venia's favor. <gasps> Calling out the air dodge with that down smash. It was a really, really great choice. All right, Venia here with basically a full stock lead. Numbers trying to close that gap, dealing a really vital blow on that second stock, erasing it with a with a F smash, and now trying to close this gap on this percentage, 80% to 30, not too much uh, of a difference, not too bad, especially with the damage output yep. that Wii Fit can do. And uh, uh, that was okay. really, really bold of Numbers to time his roll out of shield on the platform like that, because if he just mistimed that just a little bit, um, he would have been getting hit with the secondary hit of the up smash. Many is so. doing a fantastic job of like staying center stage and just staying right outside of Numbers' uh, range. Basically, anytime he gets a whiff, he's getting right back Ooh, off in an offside situation. This should be the stock, but uh, he's missed the oh, win box, that, but yeah. getting the counter. Um, if your recovery has a hitbox on it, that's really, really great. Um, except until, you know, you're fighting somebody with a counter, and then, you know, you're just going to be, like, swept across the stage for it. But, uh, regardless, I feel right now that was a really, really solid game one from Venia. He was making sure to punish John Numbers for drifting out all the way into the blast zone. Uh, he was making sure to keep up the aggression, and... I feel like Numbers has to be really more reserved and cautious with his air dodges. Three, um, two, okay. One, so, go. just going right on back to Battlefield. Uh, I like that they're just changing the scenery. Also, shout out to John for not playing Megalovania. <laughs> I really respect the music choice, but I'm curious why Numbers keeps opting to go for the Battlefield. Because... I'm seeing Venia benefit from it just so much more. Like, he is able to land on the platform, get a Shadow Sneak, he's able to get a back in, he's able to get, you know, like these falling neutralizers. While I'm not seeing numbers actually be able to convert, like, the things he wants to do, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, that, that's like the kind of thing, like, Reninja's like, or because he's so fast and he has, like, uh, I'm pretty sure Nair is still, like, you know, decently plus on Ooh. shield. So he's just like, hey, man, I can just keep dancing around you. And oh my god. 
dancing he does all over that left side of the yep. stage. Like, even though, like, Numbers was 100% definitely that he was just, like, you know, like, making sure that he does not have enough drift to snap to the ledge. Yeah. And right now, Venia hanging on. I noticed that a lot, and I'm wondering if Numbers is actually going to catch on to it. Ooh. Will I see Numbers? <gasps> Okay, so I really, what I really oh, like about that, my goodness. what, what that I really so like about good. that situation is that Numbers genuinely changed up his uh, charge yep. shot uh, timing on that. Yep. You saw that Venia was in tune to his sync for like the entire last game. And so, oh my god, that might be, nope, not enough. Yeah, I just want to keep talking about that, is that he waited just long enough to throw him off the sink and yep. blasted him off. And then he took full control and was able to take that stock. Oh my god, that was really good. He was setting up a tech chase scenario. He was trying to lead maybe a jump out of that, but uh, Numbers is off there just to land on the platform. Um, and right now, Numbers is able to get a deep breathing off. This is very scary for okay. Venya. Honestly, the yeah. way that Numbers has been recovering, I feel like it was good option coverage. And it was a really, really well calculated read that Numbers had the proper mix to. Venue yeah. was confident that he would make it back. Yep. He did a fantastic job afterwards. John wasn't able to like really capitalize on that last edge guard situation, uh, but you know right now they're still pretty even. Um, although I would say uh, adv <laughs> advantage would be a little bit in Venia's favor. Although now John may have some stage control if he doesn't just immediately forfeit it, and which he does, you know, by doing a run up grab. What a dummy! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But like, let's drag down back. Was that drag down back? Yeah, it was to drag down back air into down smash. Super sick, slick stuff by Venia. Now 150 damage, so he can either. All right, yeah. You know what? It was gonna be wash or be wash, and he just got knocked out right you know, there. The F tilt just covers so yeah. much because if he does cross up, or even if he doesn't, yeah, he would die off the top yep. or die off the side. Mm -mm. Especially at 150 yeah. percent. So the fact that numbers were just like aware of that just shows like how experienced he is Ooh. in the situation. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Venya being a little bit silly with that down air. I mean, I kind of understand what he was coming from, but like I, he knows that he's like kind of overextending. What, what was that? What did he do? <laughs> Wait, John's freaking out. I have no idea what he just got hit by. Let's like, take a look at that again. What the hell was that? What? Okay, so he went up. Is that the the sun? Did he? T he just did another F tilt. That's incredible. That was it? God damn it! That's funny. I can't funny. believe that hit. <laughs> He just did another F tilt. All right, so now we're going to, yo, thank you, finally, going to the King of Fighters battlefield. That's what I want to see. That was, but I'm just surprised that the hitbox persisted for so long, despite the fact that the animation was already like locked on without it. Yeah, no, no he, did a, he did a second F tilt. He just did two back to back. That's so funny. Anyway, okay. Venia is, he's done. He's just like immediate off the, right off the start of the game. Yep. Like five hit combo uh, or five hit string at least. Uh, playing around on that jungle gym of platforms. And uh, nice 50% damage. And right now I really, oh my gosh. Oh my God, he that fit does so, so cool. much damage. That was actually really, really sick. But right now, <gasps> Venia, that's exactly oh, what I mean bye. about countering projectiles. That's the mix that Venia has. So that's something that Venia, like, you know, he, like, puts into his head at, like, the beginning of the set, like, this idea that he has, and then he saves it until it's absolutely necessary. Um, whenever you're throwing out a projectile against the character like Greninja or Lucario, you always have to be mindful of the fact that the, you know, uh, counters can just, like, sweep across the stage. And right now, Venia, the drag down... Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, so uh, Venya trying to go for an extended like damage combo because he knew he wouldn't be able to get a kill from that. Although, honestly, I would say a little bit in retrospect, just like go for the F smash, you get him off stage, <gasps> and then you might be able to just kill him. That wind box pushed the soccer ball back into number, stage spiked him, and then he still recovered. That was <laughs> that was so <laughs> That was just so much at once for oh me. My God. Oh, great up till coming to the number, just pushing him up. But right now, Venya committing so much. He got stage spiked into a footstool. That was very curious. But the forward air more than enough to take out the stock. Venia had a very convincing lead right now. If he can just close out the stock, it looks like Venia is going to run away with this and be the winner of Xeno 187. But Numbers is definitely prone to making all sorts of wild comebacks. And right now, he just has to be really careful with his air dodges, make sure he doesn't get red uh, with one of Venia's F smashes. Oh, this is... Uh... 
This is looking pretty bad for Numbies, honestly. The double shuriken was so menacing. Like, again, like... I'm so happy that, like, Benny... Oh, my... That's so funny. All right, well, he okay. died for it yeah. anyway. Okay. But I really like the fact that, like, sometimes uh, Benny will just let John hang himself because he's just, like, doing all these options at the ledge, and he'll just stand there. He's just like, all right, I'll just wait for you to re-grab the ledge because you literally just did something at the ledge, and... Yep. Didn't touch the ground, so now you're going to re-grab it with vulnerability. Okay. John actually making somewhat of an argument for a comeback here, but it's not really going to be real unless he gets a kill we'll now, but he could be done. Venia's... <laughs> I really love this one. Like, Venia just has this amount of confidence to him. He commits to anything he thinks of. So, like, a little bit earlier, we saw the double shuriken, but now he's just, like, drifting off following uh, numbers like and his momentum trying to get a back it up. Then um, he knows that like uh, it's actually pretty good to sometimes throw something in that's like a little bit random or a little bit like uh, extra reachy yeah. because you're like, hey, I have the lead here, and me going for this option is gonna make is gonna be such more of a mix because yeah. you're not expecting it. So then it's more likely to hit, and even if it whiffs, you know, it's like. Okay, fine. They're still going to be guessing for quite a lot. And as long as you're not doing something that's, like, super overextended that you'll die for it, like, whatever. Ooh, the dash attack was just, like, calling out the fact that uh, Venue was always retreating back after those four days. So I really like that from numbers, but I think he could have gotten more mileage off of that kind of commitment, uh -huh. committing to something else that would kill. Down here. <laughs> I would have loved it if he died off the top from that. It's always the funniest thing. How did he die off the top? Down there. All right. And, the back here, and just like that, Numbers <sighs> is bringing it back. You know, like those little bits of percent that he's healing with uh, the suns and the, and the deep breathing is like, you know, it adds yeah. up. It adds up. It does add up, but he's at 135, and I'm hella spooked. Okay, good job of Numbers taking advantage of the water pump blasts. Ooh. And I love the fact that he used the soccer ball to stall he's at to make sure he wouldn't get hit by the shuriken. He's at enough percent that. Oh, but that's, that's it. Yeah. yeah. And that is going to be Grand Finals of Xeno 187. Uh, congratulations to Venia for taking yet another Xeno. Uh, he did an amazing job. I feel like his momentum was just, you know, you know, he was like oh, staying on top of his opponent. He was constantly applying pressure. He was chasing them off stage. He was getting like all these commitments and all these kills. So congratulations to Venia. He did it. An amazing job. So did Numbers. So did every single person that came out today. But honestly, the true hero of today is all of you guys in chat <laughs> who uh, who decided to who decided to tune in and watch. Thank you guys so much for supporting uh, us and House of 3000. And thank you so much for listening to me, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, commentate. Hey, um, you've been killing it, dude. Uh, thank you so much. And shout-outs to especially Devin for being 